Now, I come from a very, very small country. Uh, it's, our population is half a million. Sometimes we have a problem in finding my country on the map. It's right in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, uh, just below Italy and just above Africa. And it's interesting because last weekend, we uh, launched here in India the importation of the first Maltese brand. Uh, it's a brand of beer which has been produced in Malta since 1928. And the discussion which I heard here was very interesting because how does one work for a brand? And especially with us, uh, a brand from a very small country. For instance, on this brand, in order to advertise it in India, we wrote product of Europe made in Malta. Malta, as you may know, is uh, part of the European continent. It's also a member of the European Union. And something which you will definitely be familiar to with, we are also members of Schengen. So to go back to the idea of the brand. So we really had the interesting discussions. We had two uh, people from this Maltese brand, which for Malta, this is called Chis. It's a Maltese brand. Incidentally, the name came in a very Maltese way. When I asked, oh, why? I mean, everybody has heard of this brand since we were children in Malta. And uh, everybody knows what chisk is. Once you hear the word, you drink beer. But you don't, nobody knows, or a lot of people don't know where the name, where the brand name came from. And the brand name came from the fact that the originators of this beer back in the 1920s also owned a bank in Malta at the time. And the name Chis came from the fact that the people of the time did not know what a check was, a bank check. And instead of saying these are the people who make checks, they would say these are the people who make and this is where the brand name came from, which then moved to the beer. And today, in Malta, whenever you hear of the word chis, you immediately think beer. In fact, when, when in Malta, when you hear chis, it's like the Armani or the Gucci of beer. But and there's a big difference between the fame of this brand in this small island and obviously exporting the fame of this brand outside the island, especially when one thinks that one has to compete with German beers, right? Which are, you know, very, very well known. Uh, today, if you want to advertise a, 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 a beer, you just say it's made in Germany and it's enough. It may not be as good as the others, but if you say it's made in Germany, it's enough because, you know, Germany has this very, has this great potential, I mean, it has this great fame of, of producing beers. And this particular beer also is very famous in the Middle East, believe it or not. Um, so branding is important. You know, Shakespeare said, what's in a name? But on the other hand, Shakespeare was also very, very cautious about what people called him. And today, his name, Shakespeare, up until this day, is a very, very important name. So sometimes when you say what's in the name, in the case of a brand, the name is very important. It's like possibly half the, half the sales. So one has to protect the name. One has to uh, advertise the name in a good way. I heard in this discussion here. It's important to be proud of what you do. And mainly, it was yourself, right? Uh, to be proud of what you do, and obviously what you do, the terminology goes to the name, goes to the brand name. Sometimes even with us it goes to the person in names as well. In my case, my brand is my country. Uh, it's a small country, a lot of people may not have heard of it. In the case of India, I'm proud to say that uh, we are both members of Commonwealth. In fact, Malta is the only country which is a member of Commonwealth, the European Union and Schengen. So 
So it's quite a, an interesting uh, mixture of brands. All of them are brands, you know, European Union, Commonwealth, Schengen, you may have heard of it, I'm sure, Pizzas, etc., etc. So, why am I saying all this? The importance of the name. The importance which the name brings and the reputation which uh, that brings. So, obviously, when I heard this uh, very interesting discussion, even though I apologize, I may have been sending some emails, you know, because my work has to keep going, even, even when I'm here. But I was really, really uh, interested in, in, what was, in what was being said. Uh, and also there was another gentleman who said, you know, that in the past, in India, you used to say, you know, let's not boast about ourselves, let's keep uh, our head on, on our shoulders. It's true, but on the other hand, we have to show, uh, in this particular global age, right, uh, that we exist, what we do. Because showing what we do is our survival at the end of the day, especially as far as business is concerned, as far as... Uh, as far as production is concerned, etc. So I don't want to keep you anymore um, with my talk about what I feel as a diplomat uh, brands are. As I said, it's all about the belief in the production and it's all about the belief in the name. Thank you very much.